what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. All right, it's a Friday. That means what? New movies are coming out this weekend, but are they good enough to see it in the theater? Only Ryan J can say he has the scoop. He's seen this. them all, so oh, we don't have to. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> good exactly. To see you. Good to see you too. Good all right, to see you. So I saw Little Women in the theater. How'd you good like for it? You. Phenomenal. <laughs> We've talked about seeing Bombshell this weekend. That's yes, one. Yes, yes. Yeah. So good. Lots of good So movies. good. I mean, all the holiday movies this year were so phenomenal. And of mm -hmm. course, it turns the corner into January, and we know what that means. What is it? Well, it's the dumping ground for most uh. movie studios. Like, all year long, they say all their worst movies, and so typically, the movies that come out in January are not very good. You would think they do it now, like good ones now, because people want to be inside. No, because they just we just you know hit the deadline for all the Oscar eligible, all oh, the award eligible yeah. movies that had to come out by the end of the year. Yeah. And they want to be fresh in voters' minds for you know next week. I'm at the Critics Choice Awards. Yes. Uh, and then we have got this Sunday the Golden Globes, the Oscars coming up. So all those movies just came out. When do good movies kind of like? Like, traditionally start up again? Do we have to wait months? It was yeah. summer blockbuster season, but that has been happening, like being edged back earlier and earlier into the spring. So we actually get um, one of the Oscar contenders coming out, I think, next weekend, mm. um, which I have a movie club coming up for, 1917. But there's, um, you know, so they sprinkle something that were released in other cities, limited and then expand wide. But we will see a couple, <clears throat> excuse me, blockbusters, blockbusters coming out in the springtime, too. Okay. So let's break down the bad movies, apparently, coming <laughs> yes. up. The Grudge rated R, R. is it bad? Well, yes, it is bad. Um, oh, naturally. It's a typical bad. January movie. Here we are. And you know, I love horror movies. This was a Japanese yeah. horror film 20 years ago that was remade English language in 2004, starring Sarah Michelle Gellar. That had two sequels, so it was a trilogy. And now it's rebooted this year with a cast that I like, but it could not be saved. Okay, oh. well, who is the cast? The cast is Andrea Riseborough, who she's very good, um, Damien Bashir, Jackie Weaver, John Cho, all really great in this, but sadly could not elevate the material whatsoever. Well, when you elevate material in a scary movie, you got to know, <laughs> is it scary? It's not scary. What? There's just some gross things. And, and adding insult to injury, it's an, a rated R film. So yeah. you had really great opportunity to be scary, you know, but it's there's some gross faces, there's some nasty, creepy stuff to look at. But aside from that, there's just a ton of storylines that don't intersect with each other and never really connect and get any place. And there's amazing lore to this film. Mm. It's about a haunted house that curses people once they enter into it. And you really could have explored that yeah. in the story and told, you know, gone into some history about it, but it just is all over the map. It doesn't really make much sense and nothing really original there, so skip it. Oh, skip it. Ah. Didn't you say the difference between rated R and not rated R usually is the amount of blood that they show? Blood and swear words. Okay. okay. Yeah, in, in the PG-13, you can usually get away with one swear word and you cannot show any blood. Okay. So if there's some blood, if, or, or if you do see blood, it's very black or discolored. Yeah. It's, it's not tasteful. Really if it's red, <laughs> yeah. No, it's just not red. It, it's tasteful. If it doesn't look like real blood, it can yeah. be PG-13, but if okay. it looks like real blood, like AKA ketchup, as yeah. my parents would yeah. say, or red color, yeah. it's rated R. Okay. okay. Good to know. See, I like that. All right, the next one, you TV 14. This is on TV. I'm oh. doing a TV <laughs> review. Oh, wow. Yes, I'm so excited. Well, wow. look at me, look right? Look at you. There's Wait, so much. I've seen. Yeah, have you? I've seen it's the, on Netflix. There, how many seasons this are there? This is season two, which I'm oh, so excited is, I've about. I've seen the whole first season. You season two Look is even you better. Ahead of the game. Yes, season one was on Lifetime <laughs> and it was so good, and they transferred it over to Netflix. Season two exclusively on Netflix. I just binged it. Binging can be so much fun when a show yeah. is this good. This is like a kind of book where you like you put it down for a minute, and all you can think about think is about getting back to the book. Mm -hmm. Season two of You is like that. I would like you know watch a couple episodes and then meet you for brunch or something, yeah. and be like, I have to get back to this show what's going on in this it's such a great great series it's okay. um a it, thriller mm -hmm. i think it's a little disturbing it's super Just, disturbing I, so I want to throw that out there i did like it but i i don't think it's for kids i'm sure all the no. teens are watching it it's rated tv 14. okay, okay. so yeah but but penn badgley is hot and oh, he's yeah, he is great hot. and what's great is he plays a serial killer but he's so empathetic and you love him <laughs> and it's like he really doesn't want to kill people and he struggles with it but he has to oh so it's wow. like i just love and then he falls in love and there's great romance and just stream it you will love it it's well, a phenomenal okay. show and don't you feel like what's I think what's unique about it and what is cool about it is you get into his head because he yeah. narrates it. Totally. So oh. you get that, you get what he's thinking. Totally. And usually in a serial yeah. killer, you don't. Yeah, okay, exactly. And so it's like, all, you know how like in real life you'll be like, oh, it's so great to see you, but in your head you're like, oh God, get me out of here. Yeah. yeah. It's like he does that in the show. It's so fun to yes. watch. Oh, that's yeah. good. Yes. Okay, we're out of time. Away. So Giveaway. Giveaway. Maleficent, Mistress of Evil Ooh. is new on Blu-ray coming out. It's available now in digital download. Go over to my Instagram, follow the rules there to win a free digital okay, download. Okay, and you tease. What 
what you got for Movie Club. It is 1917, so hope you can join me at that screening January 7th at 7 p.m. That you go to my website to enter to win. Which is RyanJReviews.com. That's where you can like him. You can like him on Facebook, follow him on Instagram for the giveaways and Twitter. But for those full movie reviews, you have to go to the website. That's RyanJReviews again.com.